Hey YouTube, it's Fran Sleeved. How are you? Um, it's been three weeks since I did a video. The last video I did was week seven and week eight. Um, and honestly, I wasn't going to do any more videos because um, I've been very discouraged with the slow loss. I didn't feel that I could be encouraging. Um, I liked doing the videos when I was cooking, but then I would forget to do it. There's a lot of stuff going on in the house, kids, you know, coming back and grands coming back and then kids moving out and um, school life ending, summer starting. So I just wasn't up to it. Well, I woke up this morning and realized that I'm feeling pretty shitty. And the reality of YouTube is if I'm going to document my journey, I need to document the pretty shitty parts too and the good parts. Um, so I'm going to update you on the last three weeks, and um, I will start with some of my stats. So I was sleeved on April 6, 2017. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, or a VSG. It was done at Wake Med Cary in North Carolina with Dr. Bruce, who is with Bariatric Specialist in North Carolina. My highest weight was 270. My surgery weight was 253 three and a half and my current weight is 237 I'm sorry that was my current weight in week 8 my current weight for week 11 is 226.2 um, my weight in week 9 okay let's go back a minute so my weight on week 8 which was the last video I posted was 237.2 that was on June 1st Week 9 was June 8th, and that weight, because I wrote it down, was 230. That is the best week that I've had since I began this journey. I lost 7.2 pounds. Um, I looked back on my fitness pal to see what I was doing so I could recreate it, and unfortunately, I only logged my food for four of the seven days. So I tried to get an idea, and I tried to remember what I did, but I think maybe I've just been too frustrated in a shitty place. I don't know. Um, week 10 was June 15th, and when I weighed myself that Thursday, I weighed 227.8, another 2.2 down. It's frustrating because I watched these other videos, and I su subscribe to a few, uh, rather a lot of, um, other sleeve channels, and I feel like other weight losses are so much greater than mine, so that adds to mine, and then, but anyway... Um, and then week 11 was last Thursday, which was June 22nd, and then it was 226.2, which is a loss of 1.2 pounds. So those of you that have struggled with weight loss, um, I'm sure that you can relate and understand why this is so incredibly frustrating. Um, I weigh myself every day, even though I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, but I do. I couldn't tell you what I weighed this morning. I just keep an eye on it to see, am I going to have a big loss? Am I going to have a little loss? Um, and this week, I feel like I'm probably going to either gain or stall, which sucks and makes me upset all over again. But I'm so frustrated because, as I mentioned in my intro um, video, that I am a professional dieter. And with my professional dieting comes losing 60 to 70 pounds at a time, you know, getting it down and doing awesome. Um, and my last attempt at that was in 2014-2015. I lost the 60 pounds in a short amount of time. Um, and I put them back on quickly. And last year I waited. I had to wait because when I decided to have surgery in May and I didn't, my husband's insurance had an exclusion. So I had to wait for open enrollment at my job. So I had to wait until 20, 2017. So here we are. And I work so hard. I don't have my cheat days consist of having a cracker <laughs> or, um, or not logging food. That's a cheat day for me. I don't log my food. I'm cheating. Um, or just not worrying about it. Just that's my cheating now. Where 
when I was successful with the 60 pound weight loss, I didn't hit goal weight. I'm not going to, you know, lie. I didn't hit goal weight and I didn't um, maintain. So, but with that 60 pound weight loss, I had cheat days that were worth more than they are now. I drank soda. I drank coffee. I've given up soda. I've given up coffee and I work so damn hard and it's taking forever and it sucks. It's super frustrating. Um, it's still way more than I did when we moved to Cary, um, which sucks. And I would just like to see it go down. I have come to the point where I make my goals 10 pound increments because <laughs> I'll feel more successful. And then I have days like today where I'm like, this sucks. This sucks. I hate it. I'm not losing and I'm probably going to get it all back anyway. And that's really how I'm feeling. Um, I feel like I'm going to be that few percent, that tiny few that are not successful with this. And I know that um, if I keep feeling that way, it's going to happen because your mind is a very powerful thing. Um, I'm also very frustrated. I'm, I'm upset with God, right? Because... God made this so easy for me. Um, my faith is being questioned. I didn't have any trouble. I went in in March. It's on my um, introduction video exactly when I went in. But I went in March to be seen. And I was, I had to, or maybe February, I don't know. But it was, the, the point is, it was easy. And it was fast. And every time I needed to make an appointment and every time I told them I need everything done during um, spring break, there was never a problem. Like, I didn't run into any issues. So why would God make this so easy for me and then pull out the rug from under me? I don't want to question my faith. And then my friends who are struggling with other things puts that in perspective. Here I am worried about my weight and there's bigger problems. But then are there because my weight unfortunately determines how happy or unhappy I am it's just so many things so many things um I never had any complications I the only the only tough thing I had was directly after surgery I remember being in pain when I was in the recovery room before they took me to the room where I stayed where my mom and my husband were waiting um the only pain I had was in that recovery room. I remember telling them that I needed to throw up. I never did. And I was in so much pain. But other than that, that's it. Once I was taken to my room, I was walking. Um, I've been able to stomach everything except artificial sweetener, which I'm not that upset about, right? Because who needs that crap anyway? Um... I eat like I should. I drink water like I should. I have a hard time with the with the daily vitamins because they're absolutely disgusting. But I do the B12 and the calcium citrate like I should. And Saturday, I experienced my first bout with constipation in my 42 years of life. And I haven't gone again. And it's Tuesday. And today, I'm feeling like this journey for me sucks. Um, I don't want to be a negative Nelly and I don't want to not recommend it, but I feel like if I wouldn't have waited in May of last year and I would have just started again to lose the weight, where would I be right now? I don't know. It's, it's such a tough journey. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep making videos. I only have 37 subscribers. None of my videos have been, I mean, I call them, you know, the highest video view I have is 88. So this is definitely just for me. Um, I'm not a YouTube crazy person. So, you know, I don't, I don't think I am going to get famous from it, but I don't know. It's, it, I'm really struggling today. Today is really a struggle. And I'm looking at my stats and I'm like, this is insane. I mean, I'm, I log stuff on my fitness pal. I balance my macros. I drink water and I just, it's, it's really slow. Um, and if I don't lose this week, 
it, I'm afraid it's going to put me over the edge and I'm just going to say screw it all to hell because I can stomach just about everything. Apparently I have a stomach of steel or what's left of it of steel because I've never had any complications. I've never thrown up nothing. I, I can eat anything. Um, I don't eat anything because I've tried to be very, you know, careful, but I can if I wanted to. So anyway, that is my rant. Um, I come to you at update week 9, 10, and 11 with, you know, week 11 being the last Thursday and I'll, I may or may not post a video this Thursday. I don't know. Um, but I come to you with, uh, from a very somber place in a very frustrated place and thank you for listening um thank you to those facebook groups that i'm a part of that have words of encouragement I'm sorry if i'm not feeling very encouraged right now it's kind of like i feel like one of those people that needs to be surrounded by crap because they feel like crap so <sighs> that's it pray for me i'm gonna continue to pray right why would god fail me if he made this so easy for me. Why is it failing right now? Or why is it not working? Or why am I not reaping the benefits? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but anyhow, um, thanks again. And I will see you soon. All right. You too. Bye.